Hello, welcome to this video where I'm going to quickly show you how to use a Canon flash um, with a Nissan Air R receiver meant for Sony. Um, so I have a Sony A6000 with a Nissan Air 1 Commander uh, that is uh, meant for Sony and it's paired to my Nissan Air R receiver over there that is also meant for Sony. Um, so let's um, let me quickly show you how this is kind of uh, this whole setup will work uh, wirelessly. Um, so here I have a ring diffuser that is uh, what I'm using currently um, in tandem with my Canon Flash. This is the Nissan Air R receiver, as you can see. Because it's meant for Sony, I have to use an adapter for uh, Canon and um, that's uh, this is the adapter right here that is connected to this Canon card and this Canon, Canon card goes all the way to this uh, hot shoe where I'm um, hooking up the flash the um, Yognu flash meant for Canon. Now this flash um, currently is set in uh, manual mode uh, with an exposure value of 1 1 and I can probably change the mode to ETTL um, and back to manual. But let's just keep it at manual and let's see. Um, there is this card that goes all the way to uh, the actual macro ring light, um, uh, which is a speed light that's inside this diffuser. So I'm currently using this setup because I had a Canon macro ring light. Uh, but I just want to show you how I can use this um, with, uh, with a Nissan Air R uh, receiver meant for Sony and trigger the flash wirelessly. So let me explain a little bit what's going on here. So originally, I was trying to use um, my Canon speed light, the ring speed light, with my Nissan Air R receiver made for Canon, because then the hot shoe, uh, the actual hot shoes match for the speed light and the Air R receiver. And then I was using this system with my Nissan Air One Commander, as shown in the uh, on the left side of the picture for made for Sony. Um, the problem here was that the Nissan Air 1 Commander made for Sony is not compatible with the Nissan Air R receiver made for Canon. So sometimes the flash would not trigger, sometimes the, the Air R receiver would just shut down and just would not be started anymore. So I was having those problems and I returned the Air R receiver from made for Canon and decided to buy an Air R receiver made for Sony instead of that. So once I made that switch, the Nissan Air 1 Commander made for Sony was completely compatible with the Nissan Air R receiver made for Sony. And those two work correctly. The only problem that I had to solve was how to match the hot shoe of the Canon Speedlight with the Sony Air R receiver's hot shoe because now we had to adapt the uh, Canon's hot shoe to a Sony's hot shoe. And that's where I bought this Sony to Canon hot shoe adapter. I have a link um, to this Sony to Canon hot shoe adapter in my description that you can use this, uh, use to buy it on Amazon or somewhere else uh, if, you if you would like. Uh, but once I've kind of plugged in my Canon's Canon flash into this Sony 2 Canon adapter and then plugged in that Sony 2 Canon adapter into my Nissan Air R receiver made for Sony. Everything worked like a charm. Now I could trigger my Canon flash using my Nissan Air 1 Commander made for Sony. Perfectly fine with no problems as I initially had with my previous configuration. Um, where I was using a Nissan Air R uh, receiver made for Canon. Um, so if you look at the manual for Nissan flashes, it actually states that the, the commanders and the receivers need to be of the same type. As in, if you're using a commander for, made for Sony, then you should use a receiver made for Sony as well. If not, then there could be problems. So, um, that's another thing I made a change, and uh, I think everything works like a charm now. Um, of course, I don't get um, ETL or uh, uh, high-speed synchronization because my 
10 flash is a manual flash or I could switch it to TTL and it will still work uh, in TTL mode but it's not I cannot control the settings using my air one commander um, so uh, if I set the Canon flash to manual mode and if I set my um, air one commander to TTL mode the flash will still behave as if it is in manual mode and vice versa so um, that is one point that you will have to remember uh, but that's fine with me uh, as long as my flash works wirelessly I can trigger it wirelessly I'm happy and I can probably change that behavior uh, but uh, hopefully this is um, uh, this makes it clearer how to use this um, this uh, a Canon flash using an uh, Air One commander for Sony okay so um, first of all um, this Air Commander is in manual mode and um, high speed sync is disabled and that's why this LED is not blinking twice um, so I want to show you the, the shutter speed is also 160 of a second and um, you, you can you can't go any further than that because it's disabled so um, also the flash mode it has to be set in wi into wireless to be to use this listen air commander um, and uh, let's try taking the sample picture and let's see if it triggers the flash wirelessly all right so there was a flash um, now this flash was uh, taken at uh, because the the Canon flash is uh, set to manual mode. It doesn't matter what mode I set the Air One Commander to. But let me try setting to TTL mode and let's see if it still works. So it still works, but however, the TTL doesn't make any difference to the flash because the actual flash itself is set to manual mode and using the 1-1 one, one exposure value. So let me try showing you the high speed sync and um, to enable the high speed sync you need to kind of hold this highlight button for a couple of seconds. Let's try and let's see if it works. Uh, the shutter speed is still 160. It didn't work. Let me try again. Um, let me keep holding it for a few seconds. Um, Actually, let's see if it works. No, I'm not doing it right. So let me keep holding it for let me count like five or six seconds and see what happens. Um, now it's blinking, as you can see, the LED is blinking twice. There you go. And now the shutter speed is uh, can be increased all the way to one four thousandth of a second. So let me set it to one four thousandth of a second and let's take a picture with the flash if it triggers. Flash still works. Again, um, we are not really using high speed sync of the flash itself. Um, we are really um, just making sure that the high speed sync works between the air commander and the air R receiver. So, hope this video is useful. Let me know if you have any comments or concerns or questions, and I can probably 